Hello and welcome back. Um, today's topic is the Rusel company, basically a company that pretty much everybody who will watch this video already knows. Um, it is a company that relaunched all the hair products um, from the 60th or 50th uh, from the prior century and relaunched all the barbershop attitude, style, however you like to call it, and revived it. And uh, therefore they had sort of the first come first place uh, spot when it came to hair products or, or uh, let's say new or revived products. The special about all these products is that they are vegan. Um, so the question is, and always was for me, uh, because it was basically on the pomade side, the first pomade that I ever used, um, is the hype justified. And that is about the topic today. Um, so let's dive into it. Um, regarding pomades, uh, the pink Rusel pomade was my first pomade ever used. And I was fascinated. I was instantly hooked. Um, it is not a bad pomade. Uh, throughout the time when I tested out other pomades, I realized regarding the core, uh, let's say, uh, characteristics, these pomades definitely lose in comparison with their uh, competitors in their classes. The Pink Rusel, for example, is a stronghold a pomade. If you take a Bone Crusher, a Lockhart's pomade, or uh, one out of the German homebrew scene, the Rusel um, pomades, not only the pink one, also the green or the water-based pomades, lose against their competitors in their specific class. Um, why is that? It is, again, all, all our strictly vegan whole products. Um, so the ingredients are vegan. And therefore, the core characteristics you would like to expect out of the pomade do not match with their competitors in their specific class. Um, that is really remarkable for the pomade side. Regarding other uh, characteristics or products, um, there is also mentioned in some prior videos, the Rusel uh, shampoo, conditioner and body wash three in one. Um, they have also other uh, hair shampoo or body washing um, products. In this category, and this is uh, from my personal experience, the only category I would rate them directly at 100% in the top three. The only competitor I see uh, in this category regarding the shampoos or the hair care uh, under the shower is the Hustling & Company. I know that Lockhart's or O'Dowd's and other different companies from the US or uh, English speaking countries uh, have their own products but again regarding the tolerability, the um, mildness and also the performance that it gives in degreasing especially when you are a uh, oil based pomade user, the shampoos and scrubs that they offer are really or can be considered uh, but 100 at the top list that there is out in the market it is super 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 mild and it has an insane 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 performance if, especially if you shower every day like i do in the degreasing characteristic um, and another product that they uh, put out is the shave cream one second um, the uniqueness in this sh product is that it's an already whipped shave cream so if you are lacking time especially in the morning and everything has to be quick and you're a wet shaver um, this product is actually quite nice I wouldn't rate it again under the top products out there because again like the Nordic Shaving Company or the Haslinger Company do shaving soaps that perform much better especially in regard of the scent and the overall performance, especially regarding the tolerability, this shaving cream really, you feel that it softens up the beard. And that can cause some sort of irritation. However, it is a solid and good product, especially again, when you're lacking time in the morning and everything has to be fast and quick. Um, the further convenience about this product is that there exists a smaller tin and uh, I think it's a four ounce tin and that is very convenient especially in your wash bag when you are traveling or when you are 
like you know going out in, in for an overnight stay somewhere else and you want to shave uh, that is basically a very convenient already whipped uh, shaving cream in this particular a part this product is unique and it is very convenient regarding the overall performance and the overall applicability there are better soaps i have to mention here the nordic shaving company or the haslinger company so overall what is unique unique again are the vegan ingredients so if you are a guy or a girl who shares this life or living philosophy you will rate Rusel probably amongst the first products you will pick. However, in regard to their competitors and respective competitors in their class, especially pomades or shaving soaps, they lose because there are much better products, especially in terms of the pomade, um, regarding the hold and the overall performance over 24 hours, regarding the shaving creams, um, regarding the scent and the mildness and the tolerability. The shampoos, however, and the body washes or conditioners are definitely a category where no matter if they're vegan or not, I would rate these products among the very top three you can lay your hands on, no doubts. And um, so overall, is the hype justified? No. Um, they put out some products they are or were the ones who launched or revived these products uh, because they were basically forgotten uh, they are super tolerable despite every doubt you may have especially regarding the performance of uh, especially the pomades and the shaving cream um, and they're super mild and medically absolutely tolerable and very 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 healthy no matter the cost especially um, in regards to allergies or intolerances, you will most likely not find or encounter anything with these. If you are a person who uh, selected the vegan lifestyle as a life philosophy for your own, you will definitely choose one of the, the, the Rusel products uh, amongst your top three categories. If you're not, you will find better products, however, not respectively in the shampoo or hair care conditioner uh, category in terms of the pomade and the shaving cream. Yes, you will find better products. I can mention here the Lockhart pomades uh, or the German homebrewers seeing Michael Gilla pomades, Bone Crusher, Els and Ernst. These are the ones who definitely perform better in their respective cate pomade category. So again, that's it for me. I hope you're well. I hope you're healthy. And I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, take care and goodbye.